80% of women have experienced street harassment at least once in their lives. A real solution exists. 5D's methodology. It's called the 5D's method. Okay, listen up. For today's class, we have a couple characters. We have the harasser and the person being harassed. And we're gonna see the harasser harassing the harassed person. It's pretty creepy. And we're witnesses. You are a witness, I'm a witness. We're gonna witness this. All right, the first D is for distract. What is distract? How do you do it? Distract is my favorite. Ask the time, ask a question, anything enough to distract from this uncomfortable situation. All right, so here comes my talent. Oh, have you seen my dog? Have you seen my dog? I lost my dog. Spot. Chihuahua. Nope, nope, he's a lab. You know what? I don't have a dog. <laughs> Eating chips in between the harasser and the harassee. Excuse me. It's pretending to know the person being harassed. Hi, Shelly. Remember me? It's Eva. We went to school together. Everything works to distract. <laughs> the second D is for delegate. Find someone else in a position of authority, like a teacher or a bartender or a bus driver, and ask him or her to intervene. Here's an example of how to delegate when you don't want to intervene yourself. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver, this guy's harassing this woman. Can you help? So the next D is for document. It means write it down or film the street harassment scene and provide the footage to the person being harassed. But never post it online or use it without their permission. And you know, when it comes to street harassment, we don't want to be caught filming. So here are a few tips to pretend to be filming something else. Pretend you're taking a selfie, but capture the situation. <laughs> pretend you're a tourist. Hey, I saw what that guy did and I documented it. Can I send you the video? The next D is for delay. Comfort the harassed person after the incident. You wanna be a friend, you wanna be calm, and you wanna support him or her. Hey, I saw what that guy did, are you okay? Do you need anything, can I help you? Do you wanna go for a walk and talk about it? Right, another D is for direct. Direct means speak up and call out the harasser. Out, out! Then turn your attention to the person being harassed. Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna ask you politely, could you please remove your hand from hers? I don't think she likes it. Now. Sometimes street harassers don't understand the word no. Sir, she said no. Okay, ma'am, did you say no? Can I confirm? Yeah, she said no. I think we have a communication problem, so let me translate for her. Uh, no, ni, ne, nit, no, never, nope, don't do it, don't do it. If they respond, ignore them, don't escalate. You let me edit that real quick. Ignore them, don't escalate. You only use direct as a last resort to prevent violence. Your safety and that of the person being harassed comes first. When it comes to street harassment, we have to learn how to handle it. Join me and get trained with the Stand Up Against Street Harassment training at standup-international.com.